Hey everyone, it's Matt Noss, and today I want to talk about domestic violence because we've seen a lot more of these cases during the pandemic. And first, let me just acknowledge that it's been tough. A lot of us haven't been able to socialize, restaurants have been closed, and gosh, it seems like a lifetime ago that we were able to just do simple things like travel for vacation. We have all been stuck at home. And for some folks, that means being at home or working from home with someone that they just really don't want to be around. It could be a broken relationship or even just roommates who don't get along. But anytime a fight between those people gets physical, it's considered domestic violence. Look, domestic violence is different than other types of police investigations because in nearly all cases, the law requires that someone has to go to jail. If that someone is you, you'd have to wait at least overnight until the next court day to see a judge before you could be released. Now, that judge will almost always issue an order that prevents you from going home or having any contact at all with the person who the police have decided is the victim. You only get a one-time police escort to gather as much of your stuff as you can in about 20 minutes. Look, most of the people I talk with in domestic violence cases have never been in trouble before and they are totally overwhelmed. We're able to quickly react to the emergency of being thrown in jail and it's critical that you have an advocate who understands the system at the first court appearance. So if you or a loved one find themselves arrested for domestic violence charge, Call us day or night so we can make sure that you can get out of jail and stabilize the situation so that we can put together a strategy for the best possible outcome in your case.